Hello everyone, welcome to the Economic Week Ahead. My name is Wasil Ali and with me is Eniola Olatinji. Um, there are quite a number of interesting data to come your way yeah, this, week. this um, week. First of all, the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing its company. the company income tax for the second quarter of 2024. So Eniola, if you look at um, the company income tax, the CIT mm -hmm. report for last quarter, that's the first three months of 2024, mm -hmm. and um, that of the Q4 of 2023, you see that there's some sort of decline yeah. in the taxes generated by, you know, by these companies. companies. So what do you think are so the reasons for gen this? It's general so, knowledge that in the first quarter of, 2020, of 2024, there was a Naira devaluation. In fact, we've been experiencing it since last since, year. Since last year. But in the first quarter, it, there was a mid... We, I think we saw Naira at 8,700, 1,800 early yeah. this year. And that alone was a struggle for companies. And when companies' revenue, earnings is affected... Joined because of the Naira mm -hmm. devaluation, definitely they won't be remitting as much tax as, as much they tax. normally will. So that was the reason for that. It was the reason for the decline we saw in the first quarter, and now in the second quarter. Although in April we saw Naira perform the best in the world. Yes, but I, I remember. That's what to me. We were, the, the worst performing, the world. and we not totally recovered from that. Although there's a there's a bit of stability, but that's um, we've seen a bit of stability, so but what, still. What time now? In the second quarter, I don't think it's enough to for companies to have adjusted. Do you understand? Like, yeah, so I, I expect I that in the you second know, quarter also, like, mm -hmm. there, there may be another decline. Reasons, you know, apart from narrow devaluation, yeah, now, we have uh, the the uh, exodus of multinationals. We saw a lot of that. A lot of a yes, lot of that, um, the Procter, Procter and Gamble, Gamble, yeah, Kimber Clark, quite a number of them. About ten of them left the country driving out foreign direct investment in the country. And of course, if um, investments like, you know, those multinational giants yeah. are not remitting taxes, of course, there'll be, there'll be shortfall. The numbers, let's go by the numbers now. In the um, first quarter of 2024, the, um, the, the CIT, the MBS reported that CIT declined by 12.9% yes. to now in an 86 billion naira up from 1.13 trillion in the last quarter of 2023. And really, it, like those are things that we don't want to experience right now because the, we are, we, the country is currently running on a budget deficit. So if um, this avenue for revenue generation for the company, mm -hmm. for the not, um, country, they are not coming in, we are seeing a decline in it. There will also be a, di a direct decline in re budget revenue of course. for the country. So and like, I think one, one thing that strikes me the most from that report is that the manufacturing sector, which obviously used to uh, contribute substantially to um, the aggregate CIT, mm -hmm. saw a dip. You know, so it, you it, know, it tells they, they are they are you know, the, the most affected because they constantly need to import goods, mm -hmm. whether finished goods, raw material, whatever yeah. it is, they are directly affected, affected. by the devaluation. And then, then there's energy, uh, high energy costs, and you know, quite a number of things. Exactly, you know. exactly. Inflation. So, yes, inflation. Yeah. So it's a very interesting things. report to, to look out for. And So away from CIT now, let's yes. move to uh, Treasury, Treasury bills. bills. So on Wednesday, the um, Central Bank of Nigeria will be auctioning 233 billion naira worth of treasury bills. That's a lot. That's, yeah, it's, it's well, very... Maybe not compared yeah, to what, not compared to what we've seen earlier yeah. during the year. And actually, in the fourth quarter of, according to the CBN calendar, is going to be issuing 2.2 .2 trillion worth of treasury bills in this fourth quarter, which is more than what it's, um, the 1.5 it's issued in the third quarter. Now, something interesting is happening in the fixed income markets. Mm. We are seeing the treasury, the CBN and the DMO move towards selling more long dated, more long dated bills, which are um, the bonds, these five, seven, nine years bond. Yeah. So now, at the last auction, um, the treasury bill auction and the bond auction happened the same week. We saw DMO sell more bonds yes. on Monday and sold lesser. Um, treasury bill on Wednesday, even though there was a higher subscription for treasury for the one year treasury bill, there was as high as 909 billion subscription, but it sold just three, 300 billion. And analysts have explained that it, they, it is easier for them to spread their debt for a longer term than spread their debt for a shorter term. Mm. And even on the long, on the long dated bonds, we have um, yields 
ranging between 20 to 21 percent and on the short data um, which is the treasury bill one year treasury we have the yields at 25 percent which is high but not as high as it has it peaked at 28 percent earlier this year all right so um, so um, we, we are expecting that during this week auction again mm -hmm. because of the shift to long data bonds there would be the yields would decline this week so but um what what you know the the Fed rates. Yeah. Is a what do you yeah. think this See, will? we've have, been expecting. We've been expecting this the cut the whole year. Mm. There was there were there were there were talks of three two to three cuts. I mean September year, is the month like every every, every every analyst is expecting. We've been waiting. Markets, emerging markets have been waiting for this time, court. and it's going to happen. This uh, Jeff Powell said it in the in the conference the other time that there will definitely be a cut As so that cut like we on the on the margin market we're waiting for it we should we see can, an inflow we the, the week just after it if, there, if, if it happens on the morning so let's just expect that there will be some sort of maybe turnaround yes there will be there will be serious capital inflow into the fixed mm. income market because that's where yields are very interesting right now all right let's let's just keep our optimism high yes now um, the the u.s will be releasing its labor um its unemployment Report because. this week on Friday, the U.S. Labor Statistics, statistics um, will be releasing that report. The, the, the important thing is that we've we the, actually the seen the US data. Unemployment yeah. rate has been ticking higher now, yes. from four point one percent in um, in 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 June, it so, is to four point three percent. Yeah, in, in in you know from four point one percent in June. In June. Yeah. So it moved to 4.3% 4 in, in July. July. So the August report now, well, maybe there'll be some sort of... Uh, so throughout the year, to be fair, there has been mixed rea mixed data from the US. Yes. But one thing that is that is clear and is that that's at, at peace right now is inflation. Inflation has seen decline. Mm. And that has given the Fed some rest of okay. mind so a mixed signal would not change like a mixed a mixed signal in uh, i mean in, in report. different reports yeah would not change its stance and 4.3 percent is way lower than its five point six five nine percent. yes five point six yeah, nine percent average, average of where the unemployment rate normally is at so i think it would still be it would it wouldn't change the yes, first decision I, much the, the the decision well maybe he has read, I, he has I, I, it I, 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 I read somewhere that um the fed might be you know cutting rates by 25 to 50 basis 50 points. basis points so, and well, that that would that would be something that would take because the, the the interest rates in the US currently is at five point two five percent to five point five zero percent. So a yeah. twenty five to or fifty basis point to take it to five percent and I mean that's good. In fact, in the last few weeks we've seen um yields on their ten year bonds decrease to less than four percent. The last time it was at that place was sometime October last year. Mm. So like this is and really good that, news that for us. Is yes, up yes, 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 yes. So um, it's market. actually data to look out for, but I don't think it's going to change much on the Fed's decision. So um, on a closing note, what has you know look at we look at the Naira the now. Naira, yeah, the yeah. Naira has been sustaining some sort of momentum, uh, some level yeah, of one thousand five, one thousand six hundred. I, I mean we've the passed now. we've passed those sharp peaks, those eye, those so, serious eyes. I remember times that the naira used to be like 1008 1, match you see the naira do now is one five one six yeah, one five one six yeah. and honestly because um there were projections much earlier during the year that it will end one thousand one thousand four hundred and fifty naira when, I, I even read somewhere that um the projection is one thousand five hundred yeah. yes it's so, looking it's so looking like that, that now range. but we should not forget that we are in a season of um high demand for the dollar and that yeah, might be one of the drivers of its current um, i mean a uh, much demand causes um elevated price so like the fact that there, it now everybody People is trying to go for summer yeah. trying to pay for school fees so it's one of the so things this driving high there's a high demand for the dollar and mm -hmm. we've also seen the cbn putting a lot of work to make the naira be, uh, be where point. it is now yeah. in august this year we saw a retail dodge auction mm -hmm. which Honestly, quite frankly, it didn't have the effect I would have ex I expected. In but... fact, it didn't have the effect that the CBN <laughs> itself had desired, you know, but... Uh, but you know we can't tell because it might it might have the naira might have been worse because it it were in a season of high demand so imagine maybe that auction did not Getting, did not happen we might be seeing 1700 yeah, right now yeah. and we just we cannot tell so 
it's better to continue to like do the work. And so I, 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 I just hope that um, the monetary measures will just keep on coming so that yeah, um, we yeah. can have inflation raining and, and the naira, then the naira to be fair mm. i think many people what people want what businesses want right the now stability, is stability right? i have people say that if, yes you get business people they don't if things are if the, stability. If the exchange rate is stable you can determine you know you can plan I, exactly like this, especially for companies to be just, able to well that's what we want at, at a as a country anyways all right let's just yeah keep so let's then. yeah let's continue so to be that. yes so that will be it for today, and we hope to see you same time next week. But for more details on our stories, you can visit our website at www.businessday.ng. And you can also visit our social media platforms at businessdayng. My name remains in your lap, Olatunji. And I am Wasiu Ali. See you again next week. Bye. Please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.